We're here live with Coach Mike Loxley on National Signing Day. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. This is Coach Loxley. Coach, when we and we watch the recruiting and we watch what everybody tweets, and you had just a whole bunch of Terrapins out there who had your back this week trying to get guys to commit. How did you bring that Maryland community together, and how did it feel being the, the head of that Maryland onslaught? Well, I think the big thing, it starts with uh, – you know, the community. It's really important for us to recruit at the level we're going to need to recruit that the community gets behind the program. And, you know, it's great to see, especially some of the former Terps that, that got behind some of the recruiting. And, and I follow it just like you guys do from a recruiting standpoint. And to see the former guys that played here, as well as just the Terrapin fan base, the Terrapin community, get behind recruiting the way they, they, they have, especially this past week. It's that type of effort that we're going to need to be able to lock this area down. Mason? Another one of those things you see out there in the Terrapin community is really the want to see the tight end return to this offense. We had a year where a tight end didn't even catch the ball here. Will we see that in this upcoming season? There's no doubt we've used the tight end uh, quite a bit in our system. Um, last year at Alabama, Irv Smith was a, a, a vital piece of that offensive power that we powerhouse that we created. Um, the tight end, especially if you have a guy that has that type of skill set, creates such a matchup uh, problem for defenses. And so we have some tight ends here that we feel really good about, and we felt like we added a couple in recruiting that gives us a little more, uh, a little more uh, athletic ability in the room as well. Is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. You talked about what it was like in the 80s when you came here. I came and watched those games, and we were great. It was great to be a Maryland Terrapin. A lot of the fan base hasn't really heard that from you. Give me a couple minutes about how you used to get in the stadium, what your favorite games were. Well, no, I mean, I grew up right here in the shadows of uh, Maryland Stadium now, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and just to be here and, and see some of the old Maryland and Virginia battles, I can remember those, those football battles in the mid-'80s when I was in high school. Uh, coming to all the basketball games and seeing Maryland, North Carolina, Maryland, Duke, and basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, those are some fond memories that I had uh, following, you know, Terps Athletics growing up right here uh, in the city. But then to be a part of it and, and the resurgence of it, you know, I was here in the early 2000s when football got going and we won the basketball uh, national championship. So some fun times, some good times, and, and we're, we're hopeful that we can try to get it back to that level. Okay. Coach, I know you have other things to do. Thanks for being on, and we will see you throughout the spring and into the August practice session. But we are so happy that you are back in College Park. Thanks a lot.